Rachel Foyes, Father Van Camper, Mr. Clyde, distinguished guests, faculty, staff, parents, family, friends, and most of all, you, the class of 2013. For some of you, this may come as a surprise. For others, you may call me crazy. I have a confession to make. I, Grandpa, enjoyed living in the middle of the Canadian wilderness, uncomfortably in the tent with no communication to the outside world for a month of each year. And I even paid to do this. Thanks, Mom and Dad. What I am getting out of this, I have spent many a day canoeing lakes and rivers in Canada and have had much time to contemplate life. From this, I have learned a few things. One of my friends from camp put one of these life lessons into words much better than I could myself. Forget that which doesn't matter. Lose some memories of broken dreams and shattered hopes. They'll all get washed away, along with wasted power strings. I've been attending this camp for four years. This summer will be the culmination of all the trips. Just as this year, this day, is a culmination of our past four years of our high school experience. Just as the trips have become progressively more challenging, so has high school. However, each trip provided more insight and learning and wilderness skills, as each year of high school provided education, experience, and life skills necessary to succeed. The progression I have made as a camper reflects the progression which each one of us have made since beginning our high school experience four years ago. Four years ago, we began our journey as first year campers. We came to camp overconfident, excited, and naive. We had not yet even learned to paddle our canoes. It was our first time on the water. Luckily, our teachers and parents started us off on still waters. The still water allowed us to learn the correct paddle strokes without much risk. However, there were still difficulties. Sometimes we may have paddled ourselves in circles. It happens. Occasionally we could be seen zigzagging across the lake, taking the most inefficient route and using extra energy. Every now and then we may have believed we were on a lake where the far shore could not be reached or even seen. But as today proves, we made it. Time progressed and so had our skills. A new challenge was steering the canoe ourselves. We thought being independent was the most important thing, but paddling a canoe is a team effort. Our parents, teachers, and coaches let us take the stern for a while. Here we probably went in a few more circles, definitely did not take the most direct route, but these struggles created memories. We laughed about it, we learned, we progressed, we believed, and we succeeded. And that has made us who we are today. Junior year rolled along. Our abilities and talents were great. We had created fond memories at camp and were ready for new challenges. Most particularly, whitewater canoeing. Comparable to larger workload of homework, AP classes, that dreaded research paper, and my personal favorite, 10 hour homework sessions for AP physics. Like I said, we had prepared. No rapid, no matter how fast, tall, or strong, could tip our canoe. Sure, a few gallons of water spilled in along the way. We definitely scraped along some runs, but we never tipped. We chugged along, and each rapid brought more memories and led us on to the next leg of our adventure. Both the rapids and the still waters have defined us on this journey. After the rapids and white water, the mosquito bites, wet boots, and more, we realized we are ready to move on. This year we had a new captain on board, Mr. Foster. His ability to lead a voyage is unmatched. This year we hit some more rapids, scraped some more rocks, but all this is expected on a trip down the river. This year we experienced nature like never before. Specifically, we saw a new us on our retreats. We spent time together around the campfire and gazing at the stars. We paddled hard and strong, and every once in a while we paddled a wasted paddle stroke. But by the time we turned around, it was gone in a whirlpool of water. Now, we sit at the mouth of a great river. A great journey has been finished, a new one about to begin. 
We are about to take one step farther. We are entering the ocean, a great and vast unknown. But we are ready. We have learned to paddle and to steer. We have weathered the wind and the rapids. The ocean waves will be strong, but we will not be moved. Thank you.